everyone, welcome to the very last video in this um, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly um, series. It's quite sad that we're right at the end. I've really enjoyed it, but we'll be starting something new um, soon. I haven't actually decided what I'm going to do next. I've got a few ideas, so I shall have a little look and see what I'm in the mood for doing. So that'll be exciting. So tomorrow afternoon, you can tune in and find out. Unless I've premiered them, and then you already know. We'll see. Anyway, we're going to do this bottle today. We're also going to do the stars. I think I'm going to start off by showing you the star because if I don't, I'll forget my plan. My plan is to make them gold. And uh, I'll just show you my combination for gold. Obviously, they're quite small. Some are bigger than others. Some are smaller than others. This one here is a sort of average size. I'll show you on here. I'm sorry it's a bit blurred. It's because it's not in the centre of the shot. Um, and I'm going to just use my green gold to start with. You can't see. And uh, go around the edge of the star. Virtually on top of the black, really. You need it quite sharp. Mine probably isn't sharp enough, but never mind. And then take a lighter shade. Oops, I'm going to take this one, which is, I'm just, the number has been sharpened off. It is so small. Um, uh, this is the Naples yellow. Okay. And go inside a little bit. Like that, and then try and leave a bit of white in the middle. And I'm going to do that on every star, not now, but I'm going to sharpen my pencils and do it better. That's a bit messy, but that's the plan. Bottle. Right, um, I'm just going to put those to the side so I remember what I'm doing with those. Um, let's start with the cork. Um, it's quite fun, I think, to do the um, cork. Off the bottle now you could do it so that it's a, a sort of rubber bung but I'm going to do it like a wooden cork because I think that's fun so that's what we're doing we're going to use this color first he's very small isn't he he is brown ochre and we're just going to do a layer of brown ochre over the cork um, bit that we can see but we have to remember it goes through the bottle so it's actually going to be visible here as well okay so I'm going to put a bit in there and I'm just going to shade it up a little bit so I think it put a little bit darker on the edge here and here it helps to give it a bit of shape and on the top I do a little bit each side like that now we're also going to make that darker here as well like that I'm not going to put it beyond this bit but like that okay now doing a see-through bottle is fine if you've got a background and you can see the background through we've got no background so we're gonna I'm gonna thought it'd be easier to do a colored bottle now I decided that I would do a pink bottle and then with some sort of purple potion and I thought that might be fun so we're getting out another huge pencil this is the middle purple pink okay you have to believe me now our bottle this bit here is glass as is this and all of this so i'm going to deal here with this first because we've got it's not going to be very dark so i'm just going to put a light layer of this pink across the whole of here and hopefully we'll still be able to see that it's cork if not well we can uh, fiddle with it later but I'm going to put a light layer of pink over the whole page not the whole page that would be a bit mad over the whole bottle <laughs> not the label and even the potion whatever it is I'm going over the dots because I'm going to do them in white pen if you don't have a white pen you might want to leave them blank but you could always do them, you don't have to do them white. If you've got a pen or a pencil that's a dark colour, you could always make them darker than the potion rather than lighter. So you don't have to do things with white dots. Okay. So we've got the, a basic colour. Then I'm going to think about where it's darker. 
going to be dark on the edges like that and as you can see that makes it sh look shiny and, and gives more shape to the neck of the bottle as well now again I'm ignoring the liquid at the minute and uh, just adding my extra colour hopefully it will all come together I've never done it like this before so uh, just got confidence that it will work so let's hope <clears throat> so doing it um, darker on the edge makes the bottle look more rounded because I'm assuming it's a round bottle with a round cork in and it gives us a little bit of shine but we can emphasize that shine now where the bottle comes in <clears throat> I'm going to leave that a bit paler because I think it would be paler I'm trying to think I don't know I'm trying to think of what it looks like in a wine bottle I don't drink a lot though I don't know so we're going to leave that and we're going to do our liquid in a purple just because it matches with the pink and it's so we know it's going to work. I'm going to use mauve so that it shows up because it's quite a dark um, purple and I'm going to put a light layer across the whole of this including that, that bit. Trying to keep it light so that I can see what it looks like and decide quite what to do with it. Mm. I think we're going to have to go over this a bit more to re emphasize the bottle shape. I think it will work. So they used to say, I don't know if it's true because I don't drink wine that um, the bigger the dip in the bottom of the bottle, the better quality the wine. Um, I think I'm going to just darken it all a bit that bit. But I don't know, because I don't know about wine. There, maybe like that. Yeah. And um, I also watched a programme where they put wine into a different bottle and people got people professional wine tasters to taste it and they couldn't tell the difference between a really expensive wine and a cheap one they put the expensive wine in the cheap bottle they said it was nasty and uh, so that was interesting this is a fuchsia and we're just going to do that little heart like that and we've got a star on the bottle. Now I don't want it to be gold because we've got a lot of cold colours. So I want it to be silver. I might do it in a silver pen actually. I'll try it in a pencil. And if it doesn't work we can go over it in pen. So I'm going to use the cold grey 3. Let's go around the edge of the star with quite a heavy layer to start with. And then try and do a little bit less and leave the middle empty to try and make it look shiny. Oh, actually, I'm all right with that. I'm going to leave it like that. Now, the actual label, what should we do for that? Um, I know. We'll do a light purple. Now, the purples we've got in the polys aren't that light. This is 138, which is called violet. And this is sort of our lightest. I'm just going to apply it really gently so it looks quite... Um, lilac -y. I think it's quite nice to keep it pale so that the bottle stands out there we go and now our other label I thought I would do in a light pink and the um Actually, this one, what's this called? The Pink Mother Lake is quite a light one. And again, I'm just going to press really gently. I 
anything. It looks with the heart, looks like it's a little love potion, what do you reckon? Now we've got our little string. Hi, I am, I've been on the telephone and uh, we've just got a little bit of this to finish. And I think, I'm trying to remember, we were going to do the, um, the, the string. Now I was thinking about doing it with sort of uh, a brown, like, and a bit of twine or cord. But I think I might do it in a um, silvery colour to make it look a little bit more like, to sort of tie in with the star. So I think that's what I'd do. I might go for a slightly darker colour though than the one we used for the star. So I'm going to use the um, Cold Grey 5. I've been away quite a long time on the phone. I was chatting to my mum. I think we were over an hour. She gets some um, free calls for an hour. And uh, I'm not going to, I don't want that to shine. At the moment it looks quite silvery. I'm going to go over that a little bit, but I want it to uh, be a little bit darker at the edges. So, uh, yeah, we were chatting for a long, long time, talking bits and bobs, which was nice. It's fun. Have a little chat, or a long chat. My dad as well, so that was nice. Right, that's that. Now I'm going to go in with my white and do some sort of magic. Um, I'm trying to find it. Here it is. It's underneath something. This is the um, 08 Jelly Roll that I've been using. I think I used that um, yesterday. And I'm going to go over these little dots. I'm not going to do anything too special. Just make a dot. Oh. In the areas where the um, pencil is lighter, the white pen won't show up so much. Okay, and what we also want to do is add a little bit of shine to the bottle. I'm going to use a thicker pen for that actually. Although this um, Posca is a 0.7, so it should be thinner, I find it gives a more generous splodge of colour. Splodge is a very official word. So I'm going to go all the way down the side there and down there like that. Maybe a little bit on that corner. Now, I want to do a bit on there, but I'm just not quite feeling that cork. It isn't quite working for me. So I am. what I'm going to do is get a dark brown. I'm just going to sharpen. I've just grabbed the um, burnt umber. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to try and define the edges of that cork to make it look more like so you can actually see that it's a cork going through. I hope that looks a little bit better. To me that does, and I'm now going to use my white Posca to put a little bit of shine on that glass there. Stop, stop. I keep wanting to fiddle. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to finish the stars on the whole page like I did with this one. I'm sorry it's blurred. And um, take a photo of the whole page and uh, pop it on my Facebook page. It'll probably go up there overnight. I usually set up a picture to go up overnight. And uh, so you can have a look at the full finished page. Um, I think it's quite fun just to have a look. And uh, maybe compare it with yours if you've had a go as well. And if you have and you want to share it, you can just private message me with a picture if you want to. But it's always really nice to just share it on the Facebook page. You can comment and pop in your picture if you want to. I know that you have to be brave and some people might not want to and that's absolutely fine but if you do it would be really lovely to see it so uh, so that's a little idea for you but thank you very much for uh, joining me for this series I've had a great time and I hope you have too I've really enjoyed colouring these bits and bobs and now I'm away for off for lunch and I'm going to have a think about what to do next but uh, thank you again for watching enjoy the rest of your day have a lovely lovely time and happy colouring <laughs>